that tree's mine, that tree's mine, this tree is mine, and so is this. What the hell am I doing? If you are watching this video, hi by the way, my name's James, this is AppSpy, then you've probably played a little bit of strategy management stuff in your time. However, I'm not sure you've played one quite like Kingdom, which is a game that came out in 2014 on PCs and is, oops, I didn't tap all the little circles, now available, or now going to be available, on iOS. It's not out yet, it is going to be coming in the very near future. We are playing a quick preview build of the game. And what do you do? You take control of this princess or queen who's running around on horseback, and you're essentially trying to build up your base by chucking money at it. So you collect gold, and then you use it to buy new things. In this instance, I'm creating hammers and weapons, which my peasantry can use to fight off invaders or shoot at little people like, I don't know, stags and rabbits and that for food. In this case, let me just do, 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 upgrade this area. There you go. You can see they've erected a little wooden structure there, which is going to fortify my residence. I've just thrown up this banner, which makes the place, well, look nice, but also I'm sure has a strategic advantage. Let me just fill out my rack with bows here. There you go. That's all I can do there. And now I've sort of run out of people to use them. So let me just create some scythes, which I assume are going to be used for, I don't know, cutting stuff down and building more things. You can see there are a few people wandering around, or there were back there. And once I've exhausted what I can do at my base, I push off into the wilderness. And I can kind of explore the area and find stuff. I can claim trees for my own, as I did way back there near the base. But more importantly, I can find objects that have got loads of cash in them, I can find new members of the peasantry, and if I chuck a coin or two at them, they kind of become my loyal subjects. And there you go, let me claim these. And then that, there we go there. I think I'm marking these trees for people to come over and cut down. And then they can take it back and we can build more things. It's really unusual. Like, base building games aren't usually my bag. Uh, and this horse is a bit knackered, I'm going for full run, and there we go, we stopped. If I chuck a coin, there you go, you can see both those people now, they became my loyal subjects, they'll head back to my base uh, and start working on whatever I want them to work on, which is kind of neat. I've already claimed this in my royal name, but yeah, when you think of strategy management like games, you think of things like, well, on mobile you think of Clash of Clans, because it's the biggest and you kind of can't help but, and this... I mean, shares elements of it. You are still trying to build up your base, as it were. But, oh, hello, look. A thing's loading. I'm on, I think, night five or day five, perhaps. Come on, run. You can hear church bells in the distance. I think the horse is knackered. I've got to give it a breather till it stops panting. Run, damn it. Come on. Me. <laughs> I'm just chucking money into the ether now. Now, I didn't play the original Steam game, so I can't compare it with that. But I did take a look at some videos. And because it's done in this very, very nice pixel art style, I have to say. Whoa, there are my boys taking care of business. Splendid. Uh, that translates really easily onto mobile. You're not having to convert extremely flashy Unreal Engine graphics or anything. So it works a treat. And the controls are very simple because all I'm doing is dragging left or dragging right in order to guide my princess in whatever direction I need to go in. There we go. More people I can recruit. This is good. They've turned up overnight. Come back. Come back to my lovely... There you go. Oh, they're already my, my dudes. It's fine. So hopefully... Oh, look at the progress they've made. Look at all this. I think that fence was there before, to be fair. But I'm going to create some more... Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> What? I'm trying to... There we go, that's better. See, now, the one thing I will say is that when you have to build things, the idea is you're supposed to touch those little dots here, here, and you know, as they appear, and that's where the money does go. Now, I'm not... I don't have any money, so I can't do it at the moment, but they're very, very small on an iPhone screen, and that makes it a little bit fiddly in order to sort of press them. It might have been much easier to do, you know, clicking them on a PC, but... Not so not so useful on iPhone. But look at this presentation when it falls tonight. The reflections of the flame in the water there. It's really nice. And it's got a kind of zen calming vibe to it. 
Like, it feels very surprisingly mellow. This is where I started out, the very beginning. I'm wondering... Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can build a ship. I obviously need a lot more money than the money I've got, but... Ah, that's really interesting. Wow, okay, so let's see what's over here. This is undiscovered territory. I should also point out that it is procedurally generated. So when you start out a new kingdom, you don't know what you're going to get. And whoa! Whoa! Here we go. Now it's kicking off. They've stolen my crown! Holy crap! No crown, no queen. Is that it? Have I just died because I got... Whoa! Well. That's that. Ended. That's that's all. I, that's as far as I got. My god. So now I presumably restart and I try again. Damn. Quite glad I got that on film, actually. Okay, so that is essentially a first run. So I guess you think of it more like Reigns, that very recent and very, very good adventure game where you have to keep the kingdom going for as long as you can until you're... Again, the king will try to last. Until you basically get dethroned by one of your heads of state. I'm a king now! Hey! Uh, and then you just start again. You pick up in a new kingdom. Infinite replayability. Wowzers. So this is what it's like when you start out. And this is what the base looked like when I started playing. That's really interesting. Okay, I'm officially interested by this game. So this isn't coming out for... A, I, I, can't, I don't know if I can actually say. So it's coming out soonish. Let's say that much. Uh, the developer's been very open about that. Uh, and we will do a full review business when it finally comes out. Out. Uh, it's looking promising. But um, we shall reserve our full verdict till it goes properly live. So it's Kingdom iPhone, iPad, when it goes live. Thank you for watching. See you next time.